The United States has created a 400,000 troop strong military force in the Asia Pacific region. Igor Kostyukov, chief of the main directorate of the General Staff, GRU, the Russian military intelligence agency, has revealed. Speaking at a conference on international security in Moscow, Kostyukov accused Washington of demonstrating that it's not ready to engage other countries in dialogue on the principle of equality and suggested that U.S. actions, including efforts to pull India into a new NATO-style Asia-Pacific alliance, indicate its attempts to dominate the region and counter Russia and China. The NATO-style alliance being referred to as the Quad or Quadrilateral Security Dialogue. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the U.S. plans to take on China as per the Russian intelligence chief. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The officer recalled that the U.S. Asia-Pacific presence includes over 200 military facilities, including more than 50 bases. Kostyukov also pointed to Pentagon designs to create a task force in the Pacific, specifically to contain China in the South and Southeast Asia by 2024, and plans to set up two hypersonic missile-armed brigades in the Western Pacific region by 2028. The Pentagon also plans to increase its ground and ship-based missile defense capabilities in the region by 2030, according to the GRU chief's information. This includes increasing ship-based missile defense from 23 to 40 units, the number of THAAD anti-missile batteries from 2 to 3, and the number of Patriot PAC-3 batteries from 12 to 16. He stated, The confrontational course set by the United States is fully manifested in the Asia-Pacific region, which is turning into the locomotive of the world economy. The United States aims to establish control over this region of the world, which produces 60% of the world's GDP and where up to 45% of world trade is concentrated. We'll now check each aspect one by one. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD, is a United States anti-ballistic missile system, which is designed to shoot down short, medium, and intermediate range ballistic missiles in their terminal phase. THAAD is strictly a ballistic missile defense system and is not designed for general air defense duties like defense against aircraft. It's considered to be one of the best when it comes to ballistic missile defense systems having been designed from the ground up for this purpose. THAAD is engineered to defend against ballistic missiles in challenging scenarios, like even if the rival launches a barrage of missiles and simultaneous interception of multiple missiles is required. The system is quick to deploy and mobile, which makes it a very flexible weapon. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed the speeds of Mach 5. That's five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second or 3,836 miles per hour or 6,174 kilometers per hour. The current air defense systems can intercept projectiles that are supersonic, but against hypersonic weapons, there's no dependable defense. As per reports, the U.S. military is pursuing nine programs that are dedicated to fielding hypersonic weapons. For example, Long Range Hypersonic Weapons, or LRHW, is one of the initiatives and is expected to have a speed of Mach 8 and a range of almost 4,000 miles, or 6,437 kilometers. 
the system uses transporter erector launchers for mobility. The American Patriot Air Defense System is an all-weather, tactical, mobile air defense system. The system has the ability to defend against crews and ballistic missiles, drones, as well as different types of aircraft. The latest variant of the Patriot is the Pac-3. The Patriot Pac-3 uses a passive, electronically scanned array radar. It's equipped with IFF, identification, friend or foe, and electronic counter countermeasure to resist jamming. The radar has a range of around 100 miles or 160 kilometers. Patriot Pac-3 introduced the new MIM-104F missile, which is also referred to as the Pac-3 missile. It has reduced size compared to previous Patriot missiles and is more maneuverable. The missile uses the hit-to-kill strategy, though it has a small high-fragmentation warhead to enhance the kill probability. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyer is the United States Navy's first class of destroyer to be built from the ground up to incorporate the Aegis combat system. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is designed by the United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency to protect against short and intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense is devised to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re entry. The latest Flight 3 upgrade is centered on Raytheon Technologies and SPY 6V 1 radar. The new radar is designed to help ships track missile and aircraft threats at farther ranges while maintaining resilience to noise and other forms of interference. The U.S. currently has around 68 Arleigh Burke class destroyers, and the number will swell as there is a plan to have around 90 of these. A significant number of these will be deployed in the Asia Pacific. The Quadrilateral Security Dialogue QSD, also known as the Quad, is an informal strategic forum between the United States, Japan, Australia, and India that's maintained by semi-regular summits, information exchanges, and military drills between member countries. The forum was initiated as a dialogue in 2007 by Prime Minister Shinzo Abe of Japan with the support of Vice President Dick Cheney of the U.S., Prime Minister John Howard of Australia, and Prime Minister Manmohan Singh of India. While the alliance has been formed for some time now, it's gaining more relevance because of China's aggressive maneuvers in the region.